Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with ReZero, episode number 11. So yeah, it's that time of the week guys, ReZero time. And like I was so, my, my, I mean waiting like impatiently for this episode because uh, Subaru has been like, uh, there has been a lot of things about Beatrice which I am like really, what can I say, curious about and I hope that we at least get something like some kind of information about what is like what's the matter with Beatrice like she is acting so strange from like the beginning of the season and uh, it's like uh, already 11 episodes and we don't know anything about Beatrice so I hope that I like we get at least something uh, a little bit of hint even of Beatrice or whatever he she is and like uh, her like so weird the reason behind her weird behaviors so yeah uh, in the previous episode we saw like Subaru like what can I say <laughs> like he kind of like uh, faced off against uh, Garfield and like shut him up with words and like that was a really good uh, what can I say scene in that episode like Subaru is done with all of these things like he, like so many things have happened and like like dying is one thing and like after dying after like uh, withstanding all of these things after like uh, tolerating everything a guy suddenly comes and says that uh, you don't know anything about suffering <laughs> I'm glad he like uh, retaliated at that moment so yeah okay guys so without further ado let's get started with episode number 11 and uh, i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference uh, let's get started all right i'll be starting the countdown three two one go oh okay they're like uh making like Relocating them. Okay, let's see what Beatrice has to say. <coughs> yeah, that too. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um. Well, Subaru is an exception, like, he is like, kind of like a cheat mechanic in this world. Empty. Oh. Oh, that is the reason why she's like so perplexed and now. Many years. Many years. Oh. Okay. Library of Knowledge. Who? Ekidana? Who is she talking about? Okay, okay. Yeah, as I was saying, like, knowledge is like, Ekidana is only the one. Person will appear in the ladder. Okay. Wait, why? Why, like, why have to kill? Don't. <coughs> oh, yeah.
400 years oh my god so that means <coughs> god damn <coughs> I had the book it's last so she wanted her like to be free from the contract that's where the owners what Oh great. What? Oh my god. Okay. Well, technically she's correct. Like, four hundred years is like a long time. What? Oh. Oh no, oh my god, god damn it. Shut the hell up. This girl interrupts each and every like scene. What the hell? Maybe. Who? Oh my god. So so there's another one. God damn like uh, I think we, like Subaru has to reset again I think like something must have happened there oh this is the other person most probably is it, what was their name Ma <coughs> who who is this what? What the 
है ओह माय गॉड Oh my god great I have to reset again oh my god <coughs> Well Okay time to go back what else can i say like Well, Beatrice is pretty strong. Like she's a spirit, same as Puck. Oh yeah, she's shadow as well. Like like Subaru. Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, what? Wait, is that easy? Wait, that easy? What the Um, Subaru. I don't think she's a kid. Like, oh, I knew it. Like, uh, it, this is so easy. Okay. Come on, Subaru. Uh, you have to reset again. Like. Oh no. Okay, thank God. Like, please do it quickly. Like, like he, like he needs to go back as soon as possible. Oh, oh my God, Jesus! Okay. Like, you see, oh no, no, he's not back. Is he back? Let's see, let's see. Like, is that the residual pain or the phantom pain? Or is he still. Oh no, he, he's not back. That means he's still alive. That means... Oh, what, what the? Why did it not kill him? What? Like, was it teleported by Beatrice? What happened there? Oh, no, no, this is some kind of weird trippy dream, I think. Like, Emilia doesn't talk like that. Who the hell is that? That's not Amelia. Or is that Satella?
Is that Settler? This is satellite, isn't it? No. What? No. What? What's happening? Well, that's a really like Yeah, who is that inside like Wait, is that really Amelia like what happened to her then? Oh, so that is Amelia Oh, is that so? No, did he mention that? I don't think so. Okay, so he has reset it. Okay, because Rem is here. What? What? What the hell is happening with this episode? What the? Oh, what is happening?
well, he's surprised, like, what? Well, he knows he's returned by death, like, from his words we can understand that. Yeah, please, I also don't understand. Well, obviously, after so many things. Yeah, that as well. the dome but is he a spirit as well I think he's a spirit as well. Oh great, another one of those. Well we know that he has something to do with the dragon, like in the first season we heard it. I swear. Oh, he is he the one? Yeah, you'll get resetted. Um, what? What? What is happening? What? Like, why? Like, I understand what he's trying to do, but what does this accomplish? You have no mind to start over. Oh my god, there they are. The evil bunnies are here. Oh! What? Wow, great. This is, this is going to be the second time. Oh. Large amount of man. That won't do. Like, you have to reset again. Yeah, nothing can be, like... Oh, great. Well... What the hell are you saying? Ram is dead. What? Ram is dead. What? What? Why, Subaru? Yeah, okay, yeah, that's also another thing.
yeah like Subaru is like going like going to be become like that one day Okay Ah, oh, great. Well, is there more? Ah, there's something more. This is some horror stuff. <laughs> Extremely. Damn those eyes! What <laughs> spooky eyes? Like, how did this happen? Like, I th I thought that Ro Roswell was behind this, or is it not? <sighs> this is subtle, isn't it? Like, like this jealousy, this envy. Taste of death. Okay, so th there was a lot of things here in this episode. And, uh, <laughs> what can I say? Like, um, like, oh, like, like I'm confused about a lot of things as well. But I hope like they will be like eventually answered, like as we usually, as they usually get answered, like. Uh, up until now everything that I had kind of confusion about was kind of answered in the later ep episodes and I really I think that it will also be cleared up in la later on now let me talk about my confusions and everything and if something is like going in a spoilerish territory uh, uh, you don't have to comment about that but if like there like you have an explanation that is not spoilerish uh, please be sure to like uh, comment down below because like there are a few things that I am quite confused and okay uh, first of all uh, like uh, we got to know that Beatrice is a spirit and by spirit I think like uh, similar she's similar to Puck like Puck is I think uh, one of the greater spirits I as far as I can remember I don't remember but because he was pretty strong and uh, Beatrice is a spirit by like uh, who was con uh, con like uh, contracted by Echidona, and she was told to like remain in the library and keep waiting for uh, like until and unless someone comes who would be able to let let me see who would be able to like just a sec. Who can like in, uh, who can bring end to my contract okay who can take my life okay so uh, I think I could kind of uh, asked her to like uh, wait there un unless and until someone who can like <coughs> like uh, make the content contract void comes and I th think that is Subaru I don't know like this is just like my guess um, <coughs> And uh, I, I only want you to free me from the contract that has bound me for eternity. So yeah, she like she has been uh, like s like kind of sealed and kind of like uh, cannot leave that place and for like 400 years. So she wanted to like uh, be free from the contract 
and that it was supposed to be done by someone who uh, steps inside the library and that's why she also said that I always feel bet bet betrayed whenever someone put hand uh, put her hand on my library's door by like she got to know that yeah he's not the person who would probably free me and I think like uh, Subaru was the one Ekidona was talking about I don't know like this is just my guess who was supposed to like clear the contract and uh, like here's one thing like Subaru says that uh, uh, why are you like jumping into conclusions like that why do you want to die I uh, don't uh, talk about death in front of me uh, because like obviously he has uh, faced death so many times and in such bad ways like bad deaths and like uh, that I understand but if you like uh, put on the shoes of Beatrice the thing she says is also pretty correct she says that she says that uh, I'm he I was here for 400 years so like why did you not come before now Subaru does not have like uh, like can't do anything about this like he was brought here by Satella or I don't know like if Satella technically brought her or someone else and Satella kind of latched into her him I don't know who brought him here but someone or something brought him here and like he had no freedom for that so like like Subaru has nothing to do with that and can't do anything about that as well so and and yeah sh sh she says that uh, like will you be able to put my priority at, at first like uh, will you be able to put me first and then all of the others and then I can like ask for help and uh, all of this but Beatrice clearly knows that obviously Subaru won't be able to do that like Subaru is kind of a guy who will like obviously put Emilia first then put the others at the same kind of level like um, like in in case of like priorities uh, but if someone dies hmm, he obviously puts like that person at the top of the priority list because like death is like the end so like for example let's take let's take something here like uh, he usually like uh, wants Emilia's well-being we know that but if in a certain scenario Emilia is all right and everything is going good for Emilia but at the same time uh, supposedly uh, Ram dies I'm taking Ram here because like uh, like uh, I'm not taking Ram here because Ram is at a lot higher priority list in Subarus so I'm taking Ram here like for example Ram dies I'm sure that he would uh, like go back uh, if even though like Emilia is perfectly fine like he is a good guy uh, t like talking like in simple terms he's a good guy and he won't like uh, s like what can I say he, he won't be like uh, say that yeah Emily is fine and I don't give like I don't care if someone else dies uh, like which he sh could have said because like he has suffered a lot and like uh, I c wouldn't blame him if like someday or s like at a certain um, time he like talks like that because like he has suffered suffered so much and like uh, suffering can like break people and like make uh, like can twist people's uh, emotions and everything and like I would not blame him if someday or uh, like uh, is like at a certain time he talks like that I would not blame him but he does not do that like he obviously like uh, wants the well-being for everyone uh, and puts Emily at a little bit more priority but still he wants good for everyone so like <coughs> So, like, so here it is, like, if it is not a life or death situation, Subaru would always put Emily at the top. So, he won't be able to do, like, uh, like, as Beatrice said, would you be able to put me at, at the top? He, uh, like, te technically speaking, generally speaking, no. He would not be able to do that, and he won't do that and like Beatrice knew that and that's why she was saying like you like otherwise like you either do this or you kill me and like she can't do anything like what can I say like she can't like the 400 years she has lost has already been passed and like you can't do anything about that and I think she is like uh, asking Subaru like would you be able to put me at the top, uh, top of your priorities because she does not want something like this happening in the future again like 
like the past has been ha has gone away like you won't be able to like uh, what can i say uh, change that but she's like saying now like no like, see she's saying that no you have to choose now if you are not able to choose me then uh, like you kill me because she's afraid of something like that will happen again like these 400 years something at that uh, level would happen to her again and super won't choose her or choose someone else and she won't be able to bear that i think like because of this she kind of said those words and wanted like and she also knew that she super won't like put her first and like that's a sad thing here um like i know like subaru like puts emilia at the top of his priority list but <laughs> like what can i say like like being uh, truthful here like hurted beatrice a lot more than uh, i don't know uh I don't know what else to say here. Anyway, so yeah, that was the thing with Beatrice. I kind of got what, she, like how, like uh, what she is. Like we are understood. Like she's a spirit. And one thing I don't understand here is that why did Ekidona like contract her to like stay here? I know, like I think that probably this will be explained later on. So I am not thinking about this much now. And I'm sure that it will be cleared up later on. And as always, El Elsa in interrupts and what else can i say like uh they kind of like run away and <coughs> we see that other girl who like i don't know <laughs> like i was extremely surprised there like that little girl who was like in the village before uh i i didn't even recognize her at first when she said that i'm that girl i kind of recognized her but other than that like the personality and everything was so different so i was not able to recognize her Anyways, so like, so thinking about it uh, in the season one, like the uh, the problem with the Ma Beast and all of those like uh, seal like getting destroyed and everything, so she must have done something about that. So like she was the reason behind all of those things happening in season one as well. So yeah, and then like we have a, a brief little fight, and uh, like Elsa is strong, but. Um, like if if Park was here, he, like he would obviously like uh, triumph over Elsa and the other kid. But since like Park was like if Beatrice, I doubt Beatrice has a power level similar to Park. Um, so yeah, she wasn't able to like do anything here. And another thing, uh, thinking about it now, that was the reason why she like adored Park so much because they were both spirits. Like that makes so much sense now, and uh, and like then here's where the confusion starts. Number one, um, uh, Elsa cuts Subaru's eye off. Everything like kind of blacks out. Uh, Beatrice kind of like does something to Subaru. Uh, I don't know what that was. Was it what is that like some kind of teleportation spell? I think that was. I don't know. I don't know. Any, anyways, I'm confused here. Anyways, and then, um, like, the scene moves to, like, the sanctuary. Uh, Emilia starts, like, uh, talking, like, all crazy. <laughs> and, and like, I, at first I thought that, that was Satella. Then, like, uh, then when Subaru comes out, and, like, he meets Garfield and everyone else, uh, like, and then he says that someone must have done something to Emily, otherwise she would not talk like that. Then I kind of thought, like, no, then this must not be Satella. Because, like, uh, then why would Subaru say something like that? So this must be Emilia, something must, must have, like, happened, which kind of, like, messed with her mind. Okay. And here I was confused about another thing. That is, like, Subaru was, like, wearing a, like, bandage patch kind of thing. And like, if he got reset it, why is she wearing? Why, why is he wearing that? Like, like, uh, unless and until like the uh, Elsa's injury is still there, uh, like he was not wearing that patch before. So why? So I am thinking like I thought at that time that perhaps like was did Beatrice kind of teleport him? Like was this not returned by death and he was merely teleported? That was the reason why like, like he's like wearing the patch and like all worn out and blood is kind of like dried and dripping out of his eyes 
but then again like what happens like i again get confused like they like a garfield kind of like uh, freaks out and like they go to like roosevelt to talk about the snow and we can see rem here so like he got resetted that means like uh is it not mm, no 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 oh wait a second wait a second no rem was not with them previous oh yeah he went alone okay 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 no he he was not resetted okay Oh, all right, all right. So, like, I was confused. I thought that Rem went, uh, not Rem, God damn it, Ram. I thought that Ram went with them to the mansion. But, uh, like, uh, no, like, I can remember it now. Like, in the previous episode, he went alone. Okay, so he was not resetted. Okay, uh, my confusion is gone now. So, he was not resetted. He was teleported, as far as I can say, or something like that. Okay, so, like, so the situation here is like this. Um, Super went to the mansion alone, asked Federica and uh, Ram uh, and Petra to like take the carriage and get out of the place. Uh, Super went to Beatrice, talked about uh, the things that he talked. Uh, Elsa came, and I think like Elsa's like uh, the partner, uh, I think killed Petra, um, Federica, and all of the other people in the village. Elsa kills uh, Beatrice like uh, and stabs Subaru in his eyes. Beatrice teleports Subaru. Tele uh, 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 Subaru comes back to the sanctuary. Emilia is with him and Emilia is, Emilia is all messed up by someone. His uh, like her hand like her head is all crazy, and they go to Rosewall then. Okay, all right. Uh, my confusion is gone. <laughs> like I myself <laughs> cleared my confusion. Uh, the thing kind of, that kind of threw me off was I was always always thinking like a ram, a ram went with them but no ram did not go with them this time so that kind of like threw me off okay uh, okay understood like I kind of understood that portion so then like here's another thing so they were saying that Roosevelt was making the snow and I think uh, now here's the question why why is he making the snow and like why did he suddenly kill uh, Garfield and uh, Ram like he said that uh, they were like uh, obstructing him uh, like they were going to like make problems uh, like uh, if I was to talk, like I wanted to talk to with you uh, alone so like because of that they like he killed them like that's very like unusual of Roswell or like I don't know um, anyways and then he kind of like shows him that he has also another one of those tomes or whatever which were like things were written down and uh, just let me just let me see and uh, Roswell knows of <coughs> of uh, Subaru's return by death and like he also asked him that uh, did Beatrice die uh, as she wanted now from here I think I don't know is Roswell also a spirit like this is just my guess like he says a certain word that is I envy her like that means that he also wants to die like that like is he also like contracted by someone and something I don't know like it's just my guest anyways take it with a grain of salt um, and then he also talks, uh, says something about his wish now here's one thing he talked about this like uh, in the first episode as well, uh, first season as well, something about the dragon and like he wants to like settle something with the dragon. I think the, the wish is something like that. I don't know. Anyways, we'll also probably get to know that later on. And okay, here he is. Uh, he says that Garfield would, uh, no, just a sec. Subaru asks that why is he like doing all of this? Why is he like making the snowfall? He says that to isolate Emilia and an unseasonal soul storm where she happens to be in a place with a deep connection to the witch. Garfield would condemn her and the villagers have experience with cold spells. Emilia Sama would then be isolated and become emotionally unstable. <coughs> okay. And you could never distance yourself from her if she were to lean on you. 
सो दैट्स वाई यू डिड दैट टू माई लेटर लेटर इन एनी केस योर करेंट सेल्फ कैनॉट ब्रिंग अबाउट द फ्यूचर ओके सो या ओके सो लाइक ही डिड दिस बिकॉज लाइक ही वॉन्टेड टू आइसोलेट एमिलिया आई एम कन्फ्यूज हेयर लाइक वाई एनीवेज आई थिंक दिस विल ऑल्सो गेट क्लियर लेटर ऑन आई एम नॉट थिंकिंग अबाउट इट मच बट लाइक एज फार एज आई अंडरस्टूड रोजवाल वॉन्टेड टू काइंड ऑफ लाइक लाइक हैड अ विश which he wanted to fulfill but in this like uh, run he sees that like as he says that uh, in any case your current self cannot bring about the future indicated in the text so like in the text there is something written that uh, subaru would probably like there is something about subaru and him like uh, like resurrecting back so he knows about that and so like was that the reason why he killed uh, ram and garfield as he knew that yeah this would not like this run is not good like he has to reset again so why don't i kill them like that is really kind of weird kind of like a thought process like i understand what he's trying to say but just because of that you like kill ram and garfield just like that but uh, at the same time he also also kind of says that like you're like i'm a bit crazy he also kind of says that at the uh, later on like he says that you're also going to uh, reach my level my level where like only the thing that you want would be the priority and all of the uh, other things would uh, like won't be uh, like won't matter to you like uh, like yeah, yeah he, so yeah it is kind of understandable that he kills them like just like that because he has a goal and the goal is only the only thing that he cares about he doesn't care about himself nor the others only the goal and uh, as i was saying before like uh, like subaru can like uh, like uh, what can i say like can reach a position similar to rosewall one day and i would not blame him for that because he has been through a lot and people usually break at this point and portion of time so but i doubt he will be like that so yeah like so i think that rosewall is wrong like uh, subaru won't reach that like level of grief or despair like he will reach that level of grief and despair but he won't become like that so so yeah i kind of understood what happened here so like rosal did that just because like he thought that yeah this run won't do uh, i'll probably die everyone probably die and super would probably reset so yeah why don't i kill this too like something like that and uh, and all of the like the great rabbit comes back here again and i thought like super would probably die uh, like that again but this time rosewall dies and uh, he goes back to emilia and like i don't know like emilia is really acting crazy and i kind of understood here as far as i understood is like as rosewall said that emilia would emilia would be like isolated and uh like uh, her heart would break and she would like become crazy and uh, that's what happened here but i don't know why but i i feel like there is a bit of satellite inside emilia like the way she was talking her eyes and everything and the way like she was the things that she was saying that um like uh, why are you like why do you help the other people you, like you should only think about me like that is jealousy uh, envy and as far as i could remember emilia was not like that so like like this like uh certainly kind of like possessor or something i don't know anyways because like obviously because emilia uh, certainly is a witch of envy so like it is uh what can i say it is more like believable to think that this is certella not emilia because emilia was not like this like however crazy she becomes like uh why would she say things like this these like uh you should like only look at me and stuff like those i don't know anyways and, and the last portion of the like what can i say uh portion of the uh, anime like episode was so spooky like the way she was talking her eyes were like freaky and like uh and like it was being shown through her perspective and like the screen was glitching and all just a sec um
and we can see here like Subaru is dying and, and like the light from Subaru's eyes goes away and I th think that he dies over here and he'll probably get resetted in the next episode and yeah and she's just like kissing a dead guy and that is the reason why the taste of death wow there were a lot of things in this episode my god like these re-zero episodes I'm, i i like usually talk for uh, like almost 10 or 12 minutes but these re-zero episodes are like making me talk for 20 minutes straight god damn <laughs> i really enjoy these like uh, like season 2 is so amazing like like uh, i don't know like if season th i really want and i really hope like season 3 comes as soon as possible like this is so goddamn good like this anime like it hasn't been able to like reach that level of what can i say uh reach that level of magnificence uh, like like i really praise animes like uh, and give not praise animes but i really like say something l like this to an anime but this deserves a 10 out of 10 like nothing uh, nothing less <laughs> wow wow and uh, also also another thing that kind of like made uh, me curious was Ross Roswell said that this version of me like uh, will die here and like I will like this version of me won't be able to come back you are able to go back but I am not able to go back a different uh, like per, uh, like a uh, version of me uh, would get resetted with you M or, or no uh, a different version of me would be there when you get resetted in uh, another world so like obviously like this is a parallel world theory like uh, the way like this is a lot similar to Steins Gate whatever that like the things that happened there like uh, if you guys have uh, seen Steins Gate you definitely know that like this acts like a parallel world like Subaru's consciousness is going back only and like Subaru dies here like he dies his body dies and his consciousness is like the brain is the main thing as you guys, uh, guys know the main brain is the main thing here so the consciousness goes back to his like uh, another uh, parallel world body like uh, like there are a lot of parallel worlds and like he like jumps back to like the parallel world self and his consciousness jumps back to it and like thinking about it like that each and every branch of a parallel world has a different version of him Emilia, Rem, Roswell and everyone so Roswell was kind of right saying that yeah I won't be there but a different version of me would be there so like this is a lot similar to Steins Gate the things that is happening and we'll also probably get to like uh, know the theory of whatever is happening in this like uh, return to death later on I hope like they explain it in, in detail and I, I think that it will be something like this parallel world theory multiple worlds interpretation as they say so like the uh, Schrodinger's cat and everything like uh, it's like they're like uh, parallel like it divides into parallel world in one parallel world the cat is alive and another parallel world the cat is dead so like they're the same thing but they're the different version of each so like yeah so yeah i'm really like uh, i love i'm loving this like uh, series so much so yeah guys i've been talking for a long time it's almost like 53 minutes so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button uh subscribe if you're new to the channel or you have, haven't subscribed uh <laughs> please do so that helps a lot and um, comment down below anything you want to share about this um, episode anything you want to say and i'll be sure to check them out and uh, yeah i'll be back with a new re-zero episode next week uh so uh, this is episode 11 i think one or two more episodes that's left so i'll, I'll miss re-zero so much uh like after <laughs> like this this part ends i know like the second part is coming uh in the future and uh, so yeah like I'm, i was talking about third season and I'm, i was not talking about the second part of uh, second season i know that another part is coming out i was not talking about that i'm talking about the third season like uh, uh, season three like this is season two part one part two will come later on i know that but i was talking about season three much later than that like i'm talking like i'm thinking about like long terms <laughs> anyways so yeah guys um okay so i'll be back with the new episode next week so until then goodbye and have a nice day